Hey folks, today I want to talk about the active grill on pretty much all BMW G Series models. So they all have an active grill. Um, if you're watching this, you should know what that is, but if you don't, here we go. There's little plastic louvers, which I will show you in a minute, that cover these holes where the air comes into the front of the vehicle. Uh, purpose is keep the vehicle uh, keep the vehicle warmer longer, uh, or also uh, in winter times and cold periods, keep the shutters closed. Engine heats up quicker, uh, gets to operating temperature much quicker, less emissions, yada yada yada. Anyhow, the little motor that opens and closes these little shutters that sit behind this grill. Um, oftentimes go bad. Uh, they go bad so often that BMW actually put out a technical service bulletin on this. Uh, and they've extended the warranty to like 150,000 miles, 10 years, or some, some garbage like that. So um, I paid the $30 and went to BMW TIS, which is their technical service site, uh, and I, I took a look um, at how BMW does the process of changing out that motor uh, and it's rather uh, intensive. In this video, uh, for those of you that aren't going to take your car to BMW to have that motor changed out, uh, as myself, I paid, uh, I think it was maybe 80 bucks for the little new motor. So it wasn't worth my time to, to drive all the way to BMW, give them the car, spend a day, waste a day, a half a day or whatnot, leave. Uh, because my dealer is about 70 miles away from where I'm at. So to me, it didn't make sense. It was easier to just pay 80 bucks uh, and swap this thing out. Now, it doesn't take long to swap out, and we're going to get right into it. So here we go. So the first thing we can take out is the grills. Um, important because um, you kind of get a little more access to get to the actuator from both sides uh, as I show this to you more. So the way we pop these out is very simple on the G-Series. No, no need to take the bumper off. Um, let's get into it and I'll show you how. So on the top, you'll see three clips. What you'll do is take a, um, a little object like a screwdriver or a preferably something plastic to make sure you don't scratch anything. And then you'll take, as you push down, you'll just wedge out lightly and then wedge out lightly and wedge out lightly and when you do that it'll look like this now all you do is pop it out and there it goes so the bottom uh, let's take a look is just clips that just sit straight in there so they just simply pop out uh, it takes a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, gentle force but uh, don't go breaking things uh, it doesn't take a lot of force all right. Okay, so the first step is going to be removing this plastic piece on both sides. Now you don't have to remove it all the way. This rubber here is clipped. Once you have it off, you can just kind of fold it aside. And as always, make sure to protect your work area to make sure you don't scratch anything. So there's three clips here. One, two, and three. So once you take those three out, this will just fold over and expose the rest of the bolts for the aluminum panel which will be step two. And with the plastic piece out of the way you can see the screws that need to come out in addition to what you originally saw. So next step, this fella right here. So with this piece right here you want to go ahead and take all the bolts out and they're just surrounding the whole bit. Make sure to unclip the cable and just kind of loosely lay it out of the way and that will gain you almost access to your actuator motor for your grill. So once you have the aluminum panel off, this here will need to come off. There's three locations. Uh, this right here just slides up. You'll notice a clip here. You bring it in a little bit and pull up and then there's one more over here and you just pull this whole assembly up which will then allow you enough space right here to get in to the actuator. So once you have the top cover off, there's enough space right here. Uh, if you don't have Brutus arms, you can get your arm, you can bring this back slightly, get your arm in there, 
and uh, I'll show you uh, how to get in there and uh, basically take the uh, actuator motor out. So as you see here in my uh, in my little endoscope video, uh, I'm just kind of trying to get you a good view. There's two screws that hold this actuator in and a plug. Uh, we'll take a look at the plug in just a moment and once you get the two screws and the plug off, then it's almost ready to come out. And to get the plug off, you'll need to press in between the casing and the plug and you see that location that I'm indicating right there. So here we have both motors, new and old. Visually they look identical. Now on the old one I did notice if you go, you kind of heard that rattle so there's a little bit of wear there. And the new one does not have that. So um, I do think I'm on the right track and this actuator motor is bad. So again, this was about, uh, you can get this for about 65 bucks. I went to the dealer and the dealer did not give me a discount. Shame on Tucson. Uh, but in any case, um, I paid about 85 bucks for it. So you're going to reverse exactly what you did to take things apart to put the actuator motor back in. So do keep in mind, um, that the position is very specific for the actuator motor so you may have to open or shut the shutters to make the actuator motor fit into place. So if your actuator uh, ever does go bad and you get a P05B1 or A1 then uh, that's how you fix it. So uh, if you're like me and you don't want to take it to the dealer there you go. Take care.